right, so first thing in the morning, um, it's about 7 o'clock right now, I woke up at 6, I'm going to have my pre-workout protein shake, along with that I'm going to be having some Isotory Morph for that Dur Pump, and a little bit of L-Arginine for that Dur Pump, and yeah, just a little bit of coffee, I actually just had a monster, tried this new wants to rehab um, its tea energy so it's non-carbonated you know it feels pretty good drank it about you know 15 minutes ago kind of wake me up a little bit feel good I do feel like those energy drinks are a little weaker than a regular pre-workout uh, I guess because they don't have all the beta alanine and l citrulline and everything else is inside of it but definitely a good uh, pick-me-upper anyways today is going to be legs at the gym that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I will be consuming my shake, taking my pills, taking my powder, taking my coffee, and then taking the initiative to go to the gym and work legs in the morning. Let's get it done. Okay, just arrived at the gym. Um, after having a monster and a cup of coffee, I'm still pretty tired. So what's going to happen right now, I'm going to go on treadmill for about 10-12 minutes, do a little brisk walk, and watch Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's secret right there, man. I don't care how tired I am. If I put on some Dragon Ball Z, that fires me up, man. That's like a child, a childhood rage that just comes up, man. I remember all the scenes of Goku and Gohan and Vegeta, man, just going Super Saiyan. That just lights me up. The one, the two that always catches me, Goku going Super Saiyan three for the first time in front of Boo, and Gohan going Super Saiyan two in front of Cell. Those two transformations. Energy out the ass, man. Light soap, game over. So, quick tip, man. Seriously, like, if you have any issues with energy, if you come to the gym, you're tired, put on Dragon Ball Z, watch those two specific transformations. The best workout ever. Serious. Oh, sorry, now doing some squats. Only in K Man will you see this. Look at this. Freaking big ass lizard. There's the other one. That he has. All right, that was the workout. You know, it didn't really go as great as I would have liked. Um, I would have liked to have went heavier in squats. Would have liked to have done more in the leg press. I didn't film the whole thing, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, couldn't really get some angles because the machines that I usually put the camera on were taken. So I wasn't able to get my world famous angles. Uh, but, you know, Went to the gym, did what I could. I'll call this a quad workout. Um, today's Friday. So Saturday I'll probably do chest and shoulders and then Sunday would be hamstrings and calves. Now, a lot of people don't really separate their legs, meaning separate their quads and their hamstring workout. They just do everything in one workout. If you're separating your upper body, now I know there's a lot more muscles to your upper body. You have your chest, your shoulders, your arms, your back. Um, you can go in detail talking about your traps and rear delts and, you know, triceps. And I mean, yeah, there's a lot more muscles to the upper body. But when you go to the gym, you don't just have an upper body day. You have a chest day. You have a shoulder day. You have an arm day. You have a back day. Well, for me, I really want to prioritize. And when I say prioritize, I mean give my quads and hamstrings and calf its very full attention. 
So why would I not give quads its very own day? Why would I not give hamstrings its very own day? Yeah, I might not, not be able to squat on hamstring day, but I can do deadlifts, I can do stiff legs, I can do leg curls, I can do all kinds of stuff for my hamstrings. Um, quad day, I might, not, I, might, I might not be able to do deadlifts, but I can do the leg press, I can do the lunges, vice versa, whatever, whatever. So that's what I've been doing. I feel like it's very helpful because, I mean, you know, let's say if I do legs now, I'll do pretty much quads first, just like everyone else. I might do hamstrings first every now and then. But if I go through a full workout, um, prioritizing my first movements based on quads, then when I get to hamstrings, I'm tired, I'm gassed out, I'm done. My hamstrings will lack because I can't give them their full attention. I can't do it. And that's what happens to a lot of people who train. They'll go to the gym, they'll do legs, they'll do the leg extension for the quads, squats, leg press, you know, all that is more of a quad dominant movement. Now, yeah, you can position your feet to prioritize the hamstrings and glutes. Yeah, you can put plates on your feet when you squat to kind of maybe elevate your heel a little bit. Might be able to get some more side sweep activation or something, but mainly the big leg compound movements are quad dominant. They are. So you will need to find some way to prioritize your hamstrings. And for me, giving it his own day is working very well. So, a little bit of a rant there, but, you know, I, I had to get it out, man. I had to tell people what I think. Like I say, man, I mean, I don't really care for power too much, man. I want to be strong. I want to have those big, powerful movements like a 500 squat, 600 dead. But that's in the future. Right now, I just want big-ass hamstrings, big-ass quads, big-ass calves, big-ass chest, small-ass waist, wide shoulders, you know, that perfect V taper um, that a bodybuilder should have. But yeah, anyways, man, I'm going to go home now, have a post-workout meal. Probably looking at some eggs, eggs and oatmeal. Um, you know, of course, a tall glass of water. And I will check back in with you guys then. Yes. Okay, so home from the gym, cooking up some eggs. There we are. And uh, with this, um, I, know, I know I'm going to have some coconut water. Uh, carb source you know I want a potato but I don't got the um, I don't know I feel lazy man I don't want to cook it you know I mean yeah I just pop it in the microwave but <laughs> I'm just gonna eat a banana you know honestly man I got some bananas right here there we go just gonna eat two of those it is what it is gonna be doing some videos so I got a leg video to upload um, a food day video to upload and all that needs to be edited probably the worst part of YouTube the video editing but if you can get around that man you're good so I'm gonna have my eggs check back in with you guys in a second boom here's the finished product yes I didn't eat the bananas I use goldfish if you never use goldfish in your chicken fish steak eggs you're missing out man freaking amazing a little bit of ketchup you're good to go now, for those of you who are wondering, yes, I am dieting. It's a very slow and moderate diet. Uh, taking my time, sitting at about, you know, 202, 203. My weight fluctuates between 202 and 204, kind of like back and forth for the last, I'll say, four or five days. But I'm seeing where my body is now regulating down to that 203, 202. So it's kind of like, you know, fluctuating lower now. Looking to get down about maybe 190-ish, you know, 190, 192. Don't want to get shredded. This one look pretty decently lean. So that's what's happening. Should achieve that by about, uh, you know, mid June. You know, mid ish and mid. You know. So that's a video, guys. Let me know if you prefer the vlog type of videos or if you prefer just a workout commentary. If you prefer, or if you just prefer, um, just you know, like a day in a life. Uh. Not saying that I'm running out of ideas, man. I have a few ideas in the works that I'm working on. But you guys might prefer a specific type of video that I'm not doing anymore. So if you have seen something in past and challenge, you want to see that come back, let me know. I can go to the office, the Be Well office. For those people who have been a long, 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 long time subscriber, you know what the Be Well office is. I can go back to the office, do videos at the office. And if that's what you want to see, then I can make it happen. Anyways, Nick Ross, Body of Legends. See you next time.